Hello everyone, welcome to our library management database system. I'm Batuhan Özel and we are going to present our database. The goal of our system is managing libraries effectively and easily. Uh, next map please. Firstly, I'm going to talk about tables. Our database has six tables. First table is book table. It has book ID, title, edition, year, book series, price, author, category and type as an attribute. And next one, please. Second table is book copy table, as you can see. Next one, please. These are uh, borrowed book and member tables. Uh, next one, please. This is password table. It stores staff ID and staff password. Next one, please. Lastly, this is staff table. We can see all information about staffs here. Next one, please. These are SQL codes of our database. Firstly, we create tables and attributes in them. But when we are trying to add attributes at the same time, we encountered a problem. We could not add attributes at the same time. We had to add them one by one with alter table. Uh, next one, please. These are rest of our SQL codes. Next one, please. Uh, we add foreign keys to link tables together with add constraint function. We should link tables because when we want to add, delete and edit something to one table, this action should be updated at another table with common attribute. Uh, now, Search is going to manage the about ER diagram. Next one, please. Thank you, Bolton. Here is our database ER diagram. I'll talk about our table's primary foreign keys and relationships. As you can see, book table's primary key is book ID. Book copy, ta book copy table's primary key is copy ID. And the foreign keys are book ID and copy no. Staff table's primary key is staff ID. Borrow book table's primary key is copy ID. And foreign keys are member ID and book ID. Member table's primary key is member ID. And password table's primary key is staff ID. If we check the relationship between tables, book table has a one-to-many relationship with book copy table. And book copy table has a one and only one relationship with book table. Book table has a zero or many relationship with library and library has a one or many relationship with book table. Stuff table has a one and only one relationship with library and library has a one or many relationship with stuff table. Borrow book table has a one and only one relationship with member table and member table has a zero or min relationship with borrowed book table. Member table has a one or min relationship with library and library has a zero or min relationship with member table. And finally, password table has a one and only one relationship with library and library also has a one and only one relationship with password table. That's all for, for from the ER diagram. Now Hamza will present the interface of the database. Next, please. Thank you, Serhat. Hi, my name is Hamza Bora. I'm going to present you the rest of our project. This is our login screen for our employees. They can access the program by their passwords and ID numbers. They can reset their password. After, this, after doing that, they will receive an SMS to their phones con contains the new password. This is the search screen for citizens. In our library, there are several computers for them to search the books. Our interface is very simple, fast and easy to learn. When a book organizer logs into our program, they will gain access to book, book copy, borrowed book and member tables. We developed our interface for maximum efficiency. Accessing the tables are very easy now. By clicking on them on their names, 
employees can access them. Let's take a look at the book table. As you can see, book organizers can filter the output of table, edit them, delete them and add a new book, CD or DVD. By clicking the other tables, they can travel between them directly when they need to. Let's look at the book copy table. As you can see, tables have similar interface design. Same as the book table. You can filter the table, edit, delete and add a new cap and add new cap copies. Same thing here. You have the ability to filter, edit, delete, add and you can change the date due attribute when you need to in borrowed book table. For the member table, we made a bit complex interface. You have all the abilities to above you have all the abilities above the database and also by entering a name or ID you can calculate the amount of books borrowed by a member. To get more general results about members, you can click the members statistics. Here is the borrowed books calculator. Here is the member statistics. If you press go back, you will go directly to the member table. Here is the manager interface. Only difference between the manager and the book organizer is authority. Naturally, manager has more authority than book organizer and manage and manager can access to passwords and staff records also. Book tables interface is the same as the book organizer's book table interface. It's true for the other tables, like book copy, borrowed book table, and the member table, and it's two sub, sub screens this and this. Here is the password table. Unlike the other employees, manager can manually change the passwords. Other employees cannot set their passwords. SMS contains random passwords. For the last table, staff table. Again, only the manager can access it, edit it, update it, and delete, delete something in it. Manager can manage the salaries, salary dates, their duties, uh, the staff's duties. When an employee gets recruited, recruited or leaves the job, manager will update the database. When you open the staff table, you will see the inventory distribution on the right. It contains the list of materials and who needs to care about them. Thank you for listening our presentation.